So let's graph the equation here. We have x plus 3y equals 9. Two ways you could do it. You could use a table of values. We'll talk about that later. Or slope-intercept form. So I like slope-intercept form a little bit quicker here. But we do need to rearrange this so we have y equals mx plus b. So let's do this. Let's subtract x from both sides. So x minus x is 0. So now we have 3y equals 9 minus x. Divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we get y equals 9 over 3 minus x over 3. And then we could say y 9 divided by 3 is just 3 minus, let's call it minus x over 3. But we want to have x first. So we'll just move the 3 over here and put the plus sign. So this is the same thing as we have up here that we started with, but now it's in slope-intercept form. And that's kind of nice because what we can do is we can take b, that's the y-intercept. So we can just take this here, right there is the y-intercept. That's our first point. We'll cross the y-axis right there. Then for the slope, we have negative x over 3. Let's call it negative 1x because this is rise over run. So we go to our y-axis here. We Instead of rising 1, because it's negative 1, if it was just 1, we'd rise 1, but it's negative. So let's go down, and then over 1, 2, 3. And then we do it again. Down, and over 1, 2, 3. You can see that all lines up. Let's put a line through it. Then we'll put an arrow, show that this goes to infinity. That's the graph for x plus 3y equals 9. We use slope-intercept form. You could also do it this way. Because if you said x was 0 right here, then it'd be 3y equals 9, so y would equal 3. So x is 0, y is 3, right there, just like we had before. If you said y is 0, if y is 0, then x would just equal 9. So if y is 0, x equals 9, and you can see that would be on our graph as well. And you could use any value for x and figure out y, and it would be on the graph here. It would be right on our line for x plus 3y equals 9. That's it. This is Dr. B graphing the linear equation x plus 3y equals 9. Thanks for watching.